Okay, uh, let's get at this one really quickly. Um, so here I have 2x minus 9 equals 7. So to solve a problem like this, remember we're just going to have to use our inverse operations. We've got to get this x variable by itself. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I am just going to um, use my inverse order of operations, me meaning I'm going to undo addition and subtraction first. So to do that, what I'm going to do is, um, instead of subtract, see I have my variable being subtracted by 9, so I'm going to add a 9 on both sides of the equal sign. That's called my addition property of quality, and why we have to make sure we add on both sides is to keep these equations equivalent. So now I have 2x, um, negative 9 plus 9 is 0, so 2x plus 0 is 0, I'm sorry, 2x plus 0 is 2x, equals 7 plus 9, which is positive 16. Now I take a look at my variable and say, all right, what is happening to my variable? Well, it's being multiplied by 2. So to undo being multiplied by 2, I need to divide by 2 on both sides. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 times x is x. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So I can say that the value of x when at 8 makes this equation true. And let's take a look at it. 2 times 8 is 16. 16 minus 9 is 7. So of course you have an um, equation because the left side is equal to the right side, which is true when our value of x is 8.